most of you have seen values like 220V AC input on electrical device panels and at the same time you have seen 5V DC output too in case of mobile chargers. But do you know what these numbers refer to? I am here to answer that. In this session, we will look into the different types of currents. The type of current which is typically used to power up the house and how electrical devices are connected to each other. Here, these numbers refer to the potential difference across input and output. But what about these two letters? These two letters AC or DC indicate the type of current. AC stands for alternating current, where the direction of the current changes periodically, which is represented this way. And DC stands for direct current, which means the current always flows in one direction, which is represented in this way. Electric supply from powerhouses and electric generators are supplied in the form of alternating current or AC, while the current supplied by batteries are direct current or DC. In the general pattern followed in India, the polarity of AC changes after every hundredth of a second, that is, the frequency of this current is 50 Hz. The main advantage of using AC is that it can be transmitted over a long distance with less loss of energy compared to that in the case of DC. Also, the conversion of AC to DC is very easy and is possible even through our mobile chargers. That's all about AC and DC currents. Now the real question is, how is this AC current supplied in our house? We already know what a circuit is and we know how to connect resistors in series and in parallel to the battery and also the advantages of parallel combination over series. Now let's see how these combinations are used to power up our houses. In our homes, we get the supply of electric power from a main supply also called mains through transmission wires supported through overhead electric poles from the power houses as discussed earlier in the session. One of the wires in the supply is positive and insulated with a red cover. It is called the live wire. Another wire with the black insulation cover is called the neutral wire. Do you know what is the potential difference between these two wires in India? It is 220 volts. In our houses, these two wires pass into the electricity board through the main fuse. These wires supply electricity to separate circuits in the house through the main switch. Often two circuits are used, one for 50 ampere current rating for the appliances with high power ratings such as geysers, air conditioners, etc. and the other for 5 ampere current flow for low power rating appliances such as bulbs, fans, etc. As a safety measure to avoid electric shock when in contact with appliances with metallic bodies like electric press, toaster, table fan, etc. we use the earth wire which has an insulation of green color. It is usually connected to a metal plate deep in the earth near the house. The metallic body is connected to the earth wire which provides a low resistance path for the flow of current. It ensures that even after any leakage of current, the metallic body of the appliance keeps its potential equal to that of the earth and the user will not get a severe electric shock. A number of separate circuits can be present between these live and neutral wires in which each circuit would be connecting different appliances. The advantage of connecting them in parallel is that every device could be provided with an equal potential difference and each one of these can have a unique switch. Also, in case there is damage to any of the appliances, it will not affect the others. That's all for today. Now let's quickly recap through what we have learned. We learned the two different types of currents that are AC and DC. Here AC stands for alternating current, where the direction of current changes periodically. DC stands for direct current, which means the current always flows in one direction. And we have seen the advantages of AC over DC. And we have also seen that circuit diagram for a residential home and its advantages. That's all for today. Hope you got to learn some new and interesting things. See you in our next session. Until then, keep learning.